money at? We need some money. You got money? Dab your face, man. Dab in the coat. Dab in the coat. Dab in the coat. Let me put y'all on game, man. She has no appetite, so she is eating chunky chicken noodle soup. Not chicken noodle soup, really, but chunky. Creamy chunky. Creamy chunky? Chicken noodle soup. Take a swallow. It's okay. I thought it was going to be like... Why it supposed to be okay? I thought it was supposed to be like Alfredo. I thought it was going to be just like chunky. Chunky soup. Chunky but creamy soup. She just took her out of her profile. <laughs> But anyways, I I haven't had I never had surgery before, so I'm a little scared, nervous. Um, I'm hoping this stuff is just through my stomach or whatever. Basically, they said it was a large mass in my stomach, but. Um, they can't see my left ovary because it's blocking it. The massive. So I don't know if this is just going to be a stomach thing or a stomach and ovary thing. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and start recording something. Some type of footage. Hey, jeez. A pain day. I haven't taken any medicine yet, though. That's why she's eating right now. It's a pill right there. And then there's this. It's a baby. We're having a baby. This isn't actually drain and mess, so it's other people same thing. She just refilled the thing. Mm. There is a stomach mass in here. Today is March the 26, 2024. And I go to see the GYN oncologist on April the 2nd. So we will see what happens after that i was told to put castor oil on my belly madison put it on there today that's why her belly button is oily so yes this is a large mass in the stomach and we don't know if it's cancerous or benign or malig malignant how do you say the word? So, I have to have surgery. So, yeah, that's what's going on today. I'm about to eat this soup and take the ibuprofen. I've been sleeping all day. I'm extremely tired. 
and and pain. But he's alive. Mm -hmm. And this cat keep doing stuff. She he doing stuff down there. This is my thingy thingy. I'm trying to catch him and grab him by the neck. Like a snakey. So he stopped. And yes, I know surgery is just the beginning. But um, I don't know how long this thing has been growing inside of me. But like, there's been years where I've been measuring my belly and it's like 38. 38 inches. I think it's inches. 38 inches. And it has never changed even today. So I will be doing stuff like exercising or going to the hair salon or just doing stuff. And people will be like, um, are you pregnant or is are you having a boy or a girl? And just to find out like this is what's going on, it's just like wow. But it used to happen so much to the point where I would just be like, it looks like I'm having a baby. So why not just act like, oh, I'm having a baby. <laughs> At this point, you might not, you know. But, um, yeah, I don't know if the surgery will bring my stomach down or what it's going to do. But yeah, it's been a journey of people thinking that I'm pregnant. Because, like I showed you guys, the stomach could look like I am about six, seven, eight months pregnant. So, and I will talk to you guys later because his will won't be done. It's surgery day. If I can put this camera in. I named the tumor Grace. So, you know, it's some fat there. But it's, you see how it's tight. That's the tumor. But it's like all the way around. It's like a baby. I named it Grace because... Throughout all of this, I could have been in pain 24-7 every day, and I wasn't. Although, we may have caught this sooner if I was in that much pain. Even though the pain that I did experience was a bit much, it was not all day. I was still able to work. So, I called it grace because it came with grace. It didn't come and destroy. Even though we don't know yet because it's a surgery. What else is to come of this yet? I'm just thankful to God that Grace was so graceful in her arrival. And I hope to see you guys later. Live, live from the hospital bed. And I got a crack. And this says, take it easy. Catch some Z's. Rest relaxing. Simply be. Oh, it won't. I didn't get it. That was a hard work. All that reaching. This is the day after surgery. My, my lips look terrible. It says simply be 
And my husband wrote you. I love you and so proud of you, J. Mugga husband. And um, they haven't come in and changed the board yet. So it still says 410. And um, they took my catheter out. I went to the bathroom once by myself to pee. Um, I was at 10 ounces. Um, I haven't uh, burped or um, farted yet. But that's what they're looking forward to when they come in and they ask me. Because that will like indicate that my bowels are coming back. Um, my back hurts, my stomach, it hurts in all the places that the incision isn't hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to record a little bit, but, uh, I'll come back later. <clears throat> So, we have our first meal since they switched my diet for regular. And it's my favorite French toast. <laughs> I'm trying to get up. Oh, I was trying to sit up until my dad called. And then I started feeling some pain down in the uterus area. So now I'm thinking I gotta pee. So I'm gonna try to get up out of this bed. See how much stress I got on my own without trying to wake my husband up. Cause he didn't get good sleep last night. I just, I can, pretty much move. I just got to take this IV with me. I guess it's kind of like a walker. So I can't, uh, let's see. Oh, they got to unhook these cuffs. Huh. That might mean I need help. I got little cups on my legs at the bottom to um so that I won't have blood clots. Um I don't wanna wake him up. I want him to rest. But let's see if I can figure it out. Probably not. Yeah, I want to see the butt, the the cuffs. This is the cuffs. They helping the blood circulate to not get the blood clots. I can't even get it. The can't this. There you go. Yeah, I think I got to call them to help me get that off. Hmm. But I was going to try to sit up and eat. But I think I need to go to the bathroom. So, I'll be back. Mm. Ricky just got here. She is my tech. Uh, I don't want to bother her because she's making her rounds to see people this morning. But she don't want to take me to the bathroom. I haven't met the, the morning nurse yet. They just switched shifts. Let me see if I can get this stuff on. Even though I 
back on it. I think you just pull it up. Oh, I got it out. Okay, that's one. Now, the right side has more pain than the left side. And the right side is where... I mean, the left side is where they removed everything from. So, that's kind of shocking to me. So, I'm going to try to get out of this bed. And walk to the bathroom. And I don't know if I'm supposed to call these people, but I don't want to. Hard-headed. I just want to go. Since y'all ain't helped me the first time, I don't see no point in y'all coming to take me to the bathroom. Honestly. <laughs> so... Ain't no point of them coming. You know? Uh. Mm. I didn't want to wake you up. I'm recording. But I wanted you to rest. And they didn't help me the first time, so I ain't called them either. Where you going? Back. I do feel some pain. I do. I do feel pain. I should have brought my tripod. <laughs> oh yeah, and they, they had to put the breathing too down my throat. So my oh I'm hooked I'm hooked up over here. We gotta unplug that. Unplug that for me. Because I gotta take the IV with me. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, um, yeah, my throat feels crazy. But once we get from the bathroom, we gonna go eat our food. Okay. So I'll come back once I'm done using the bathroom. So I'm just dragging this thing on. Mm -hmm. um, so I did just under um, 10 ounces this time when I peed. Just a tiny bit under. This is my second time peeing um, without the catheter. This morning. Oh. The pain is there, trust me. It's not unbearable, but it's there. The, the numbing is what's really helping me get through it, I'm sure. And then this is the binder they have over my belly. Got all this stuff beeping. I don't know. Maybe it's telling them that I'm that I'm out the bed or something. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I think it's from the the little cuff things that's on my legs. Mm -hmm. I just think people think I'm supposed to. If y'all can show me that I gotta do it on my own, what? Then I'm gonna do it on my own. Own. 
absolutely would. I could walk without y'all coming to get me. I'm in pain. But if y'all gotta do what I gotta do. Honey, I need something else. The um things for my legs. I took it off. Just hook them back in for me. Hold on, I gotta turn this way. Sit down. I took them off so I can get up. These uh things, you just plug them back in here. Snap them back. See if I can set up to eat. Mm. That's taking this somewhere. Else. I don't know. All right. I'm gonna put my camera. This one is for my back, and that one is for my head. You just sit up like that and eat. I ain't, I'm trying. I'm talking right there. Oh, yeah, I could. Okay. Stop worrying about trying to get footage right here. <laughs> no, it, I didn't know. Mm. But I didn't think of that. I'm going to set my camera on it. Once you bring this to him. But I was worrying about, I didn't think about sitting up like this to eat. But thank you for using your brain. That helped me think about it. Because I don't know how to sit up in this bed. I tried. Thank you. What is this? Coffee or set? This coffee. You want this? I'm sure. They got sugars and whatever this stuff is. I don't drink no coffee. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Eat and sound like, I mean, when they bring all this, it seems like it's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. You can handle this, mama. It's not a lot. It's literally just two French toast and two bacons. <laughs> but it just seems like a lot compared to what I've been getting. <laughs> I wonder if them things come around. Do you see any? I think they come around. I think I can plug them back in. Cause I'm not, I'm not sure if I need them in while I'm. Need two of them? Yeah, that's the left one. The the left one. You on the left? And then this one go on this one. <sighs> Maybe that thing will shut up. Who knows? The thing's still beeping the death. This is the heat pack they gave me. Thank you, babe. But I haven't used this one yet. Okay, guys. So I'm going to try to eat. And I'll see you guys in a little bit.
get it, girl. Be stiff, stiff. Socks, get the socks, look at the Started passing gas, so that's good for my bowels. I haven't made a bowel movement yet, though. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my walk. Okay, so it is April the 12th. The, I guess you consider this my third day. Um, my pain level is, I guess, moderate. I should have not did that. Let me see if I can lift that back up. The feet. All right. Now. Hold on, I'll come right back. Ease of the seas, and watch the tables turn while I'm fighting this disease. Okay, guys, so the mass was coming from the left ovary and fallopian tube. So they removed the left ovary and the fallopian tube and the mass. Um, my uterus looked fine and the right ovary and fallopian tube looked fine. Um, when they took the glance at the mass, it looked benign, but they still do have to, um, send it off just for confirmation that it's benign. Once they break it up, they'll be able to see if it's benign or cancerous, but so far we are looking at it being benign. So the surgeon did not get a picture of the mass but she did say the size was between a cantaloupe and a watermelon so yeah pretty big so being as though she said it was that big i'm looking at this joint like okay so if my stomach don't go down that mean i'm fat like, how do I have room for fat and this big old mask? <laughs> but on another note, if the stomach do go down, it's like, how long the mask been there? Because my stomach ain't been little in a long time. And when I say stomach, I mean to say my abdomen, because that's what I really am saying. I always just say stomach, like, I'm just accustomed to saying stomach, but it's that abdomen. You know, the stomach is just like a portion of your abdomen. I am about to go home. They haven't come and told me, but she, they the, the surgeon came in this morning and was saying she think I'm pretty good as long as my labs come back good um, because I can walk, I can eat. I'm passing gas. I can pee. Um, my pain level is down. I haven't had a bowel movement yet, but that's that's not needed for me to go home. But yeah, they sent my prescriptions to my pharmacy, and they gave like on the on my chart. They have uploaded like after visit summary and stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty much they about to pretty much let me go. Just came with the discharge papers. Problem is, I don't have nobody to pick me up. Everybody's at work. So I'm thinking about taking a lift. But I got stuff. 
Hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get a lift. This is what happens when you drive. When you drive everywhere. You're a driver for a living. The world don't stop for you, right? <laughs> so. I could have drove. Because I'm not under narcotics. They say if I can stop on the ground really hard. But I'm not standing up. If you stomp really hard, you can drive. <laughs> but I am on pelvic rest uh, for six weeks. And yeah, I can't work for six weeks. That's what they say. And I shouldn't be lifting over 10 pounds. But I have all this stuff to take home in the lift. So, I'm just waiting for the nurse to come back and take the IV out. Then I'm going to go downstairs and call a lift. I'm so hungry because the breakfast they brought me was something I wasn't going to eat. So, I'm like, I got to get some food too soon. I'm home. I had panic in that lift a little bit. But my bestie Jasmine got me through that. Um, and my husband is home with me, so I'll be okay. I just got to get me something to eat and get my medication soon from the pharmacy.